Good evening. Jennifer will join us in just a few minutes. September is Hunger Action Month, and the Second Harvest Food Bank is asking everyone in the community to join the fight. And the numbers show the need. There are more than 88,000 people in the Erie region alone that they say don't have proper access to nutrition. Brian Wilk joins us now in the newsroom with much more on what's being done about that. Brian? Sean, that's right. The Second Harvest Food Bank held one of their food distributions today, and the long line of cars really emphasize the need for food in our community. Hunger Action Month kicks off with the aim of fighting hunger. The long line of cars that wrapped around the Second Harvest Food Bank shows that some families really need a helping hand during these hard times. One person in line says the price of food is outrageous. Oh, it's very helpful. I'm sure somebody with a real large family would really appreciate it. Second Harvest is used to seeing long lines. Between the months of June and July, we've seen a 10% increase in the number of people accessing emergency food assistance, but since January, it's been a 31% increase. She adds inflation is at a 40-year high, and food costs have risen 11% in the Erie area over the past year. So there's an awful lot of families who are struggling, who really need help from Second Harvest Food Bank, and we in turn need help from the community. There are many ways you can help. We're asking people people to either host a food drive or make a monetary contribution or volunteer your time. She adds another way to help is by contacting your legislators and asking them to support anti-hunger initiatives. And since 2015, the Wolf Administration has increased funding for hunger and food access programs by more than $80 million, Sean. But as we could see in those lines, Brian, there is still an awful lot of need out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. All right, thank you.